So my partner told me when Dolph pulled up today, which he always do, he pulled up at the store. He went in. He told him if you want because if he know you, he know what you want. Mm-hmm. Dolph came in and ordered three thigh chip cookies and a cup of ice cream. He turned around, went right there by the door a little bit. The dude had already pulled up in a white top, the old man's son. He shot him with an AR-15 pistol and chopped him down right there. And Dolph shot back. But huh. he, couldn't. he was telling Dolph to stay with me, stay with me. He couldn't. Damn. That's what happened. So Damn, it wasn't son, two cars? Did you find me? No, it was, no, it wasn't two cars. It was one car. It was a guy in a white car. And they don't know exactly who it is, so... I right, but now it's going to come up because there was a next door to the uh, restaurant. Yeah, that uh, rest- at the dollar store. And they had a camera up there. And so uh, it was a said that Dolph had somebody in the car with him. But I'm like, one funny. thing I will say, Dolph don't always be on fourth because he's comfortable. That's his hood. So he be a, he'll go in the damn grocery store. I mean, not, not a corner store, a grocery store. Uh, you a grocery store he, right was there part, he was parked like he didn't back in. He parked straight in. Like, that's how comfortable he parked he straight in. Yeah, he parked straight in. He parked straight in. And I have seen Dolph at the post office. I'm dropping off, sending stuff out to labels or whatever. He up there through it line. Like a regular customer. That's him. See what's going on, bro? What you got going on? He, that's just how he is. He's going to be out there with a $200,000 with a jewelry on. He ain't driven. Yeah, and just walk around like, yeah, $100,000. Yeah, like. But see, you got to stand. Bro, been over there for 20-some years. What you expect? That's his neighborhood. He wasn't in another nigga hood, bro. That's what I'm telling y'all. This man was literally from his grandma's house where he grew up in two miles. That's the same neighborhood. This man went up and down that street and went at that damn that damn cookie store, bro, for ten years or something. That's regular. That's like y'all going down to the bodega. That's because they seen him. Um, Everybody seen him three days ago. It ain't shit new here. here. That's normal. That's 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 a normal stop in the store out there. That's normal. Dogs will pull up at the chicken store and order a two piece snack box and eat sit right there in the car. Normal. That's, that's just normal activity. Now, when he go on the other side of town and do that, no, he going to do that then. But he's at his home base. You see what I'm saying? So that's his neighborhood. So where else can you feel comfortable in? But say, look, I got the picture right now, man. They just sent me the picture of the nigga that shot him. He on the blue sweater with a mask on and man had a chop. I'm looking wow. at it right now. And who wow. But yeah, it just came to my phone, bro. They just sent me the picture. He got shot by two dudes. So one dude had a uh, AR-15. I'm looking at he had a pistol. Other dude had a uh, chopper. He had a uh, wow, that's so sad. Yeah. So uh, both of them had on uh, one had on the blue hoodie. Uh, other had on the black hoodie with a mask. Uh, one got on gray tennis, black tennis shoes. One got on white tennis shoes. So if anybody dropped your number, or whatever, bro. I see this is here. This is two young. It's two young dudes that popped this man. I'm looking at the pictures right now. And they pulled up right at the like the little bumper cart right there in front of the uh, parking space. That's where they shot him at. Hey, yo, Big C, I'm gonna yeah. ask you a question. Yes, sir. So this was was this a lineup or this was just you know he was just too comfortable when he went up in the store. I think he was up. If you ask me, bro, if you ask me, I say that he was riding and didn't pay the pay, didn't pay no mind because he came he probably, he came off the interstate. So I'm assuming he came from his house. And based on where it was, somebody had been following. They had been following. Up, so they, they call him. They, yeah. they call him vulnerable. They just call him in the store. So if you're going in the cookie store, you ain't looking for no nobody up behind you. So they pulled up. They didn't pull in the parking space. They pulled up halfway, caught, jumped out. They had on you know, the COVID nineteen mask and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's a TikTok out. It was like his last moment. It was his last moment. Him at a gas station. I don't know if y'all saw that TikTok where um, he had pulled into a gas station and he went to the cookie shop or whatever, but that shit is so sad. Like, niggas don't got a life for real. With a gas station, it's a gas station next door to the cookie shop. It's a shell gas So if it wasn't a shell gas station, then wasn't it? I think it was. I think so it was. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, oh, so they got the store outside by. He got hit in the store. 